Welcome back to the Totilia. Today we went to What? No way. And no. Squirt. Now we really want to know what you're looking at. It's some sort of shiny object. It's my shiny object. Finders keepers. What is it? Hmm. Looks like a puzzle. A difficult one at that. How about this? Whoa, what's happening? This looks like our letters, but different. More like ancient writing. Let's see here. Heed my words, for I am Eifried, the intrepid explorer who has crossed the world's edge without fear. Yada yada yada, more self-promotion. Ah, here we go. At last, I have reached Terra Incognita. It is my hope that they shall serve as beacons to those explorers who follow in my footsteps. I'm impressed, Alvin. <laughs> but I still don't know what it means. I've heard of this Eifried. He's a legendary pirate. He raided cities all throughout Rize Maxia ages ago. He set okay. off to find the end of the world and never returned. Or so the legend goes. <laughs> nice of him to put his treasures in these boxes for us. The pirate Eifried's treasures? Oh, oh, I want to find him too. Maybe you should learn to read first, young man. Yeah, good idea. You'll all wait for me, right? And keep this I free treasure yeah, stuff between no. us. No. What a beautiful view. I bet if I yelled really loud, it would echo back. So why not try it? You gotta do things like that while you're still young. When you get to be my age, it can get a little embarrassing. Yeah, huh. all right, why not? Echo! Echo, 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 echo. Alvin! Alvin, 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 Alvin. And huh. what you're doing now isn't embarrassing? A huh. little, a little, a little, a little. Huh. 
Tem um bar no meio. Não, não, não. Hello. Morning. What are you up to? Watching people. Watching people. Oh, okay. okay. Say, okay. Mila, can I ask you something? Hmm? What's a Spyrix? Why were you trying to destroy that device in Fenmont? It sucks so much. Technology is something humans were never meant to have. So, I must take it away from them. Why? That is none of your concern. Spyrix takes away your mana. So you don't trust me? That's not it. Look, if you saw a toddler playing with a knife, what would you do? I'd probably snatch it away. And what would be your reason? Because it's dangerous. The baby doesn't know how to use a knife. He could cut himself, or worse. There's your answer. What? But we're not babies. If we understand what we're dealing with, and if we see the dangers, we can learn how to use it safely. So you say. But to me, you're no different than infants. Margaret. Huh? <sighs> Why? I will do what I must to protect this world. If that means destroying the lens of Kresnik, so be it. It's my mission. I see. Don't worry, Jude. So None of this will concern so you once it. we reach Nia Kara. No. What's going on? It would seem we can't linger around here anymore. So they did follow us. I don't know, kid. They found us awfully fast considering this isn't their home turf. Well, it's not like we can ask them about Let's it. Let's go. Let's go before they find us. There's an exit in the western part of town. That must be the way to the Kajara Sea Falls. Soldiers beat us here. Great. Now what? We force our way through. Right, and fast, before any more arrive. So that's your plan? Just charge through? <laughs> I thought I was hot headed. Uh, excuse me. It is. What is it? The baby. Um... We're trying to figure out how to get past those soldiers. Way to cut to the chase. So, those people, they're in your way? Hey! 
What? What in the world? Huh. How did you do that? What's going on here? Tipo. Child, you know you're never to leave the shed. Rashigal troops, curse you! How dare you come here? Huh? All right. Where's she going? All right, we can. Which way did she go? Toward the square. What? No, she mustn't. You all must be outsiders. You should hurry and leave this place. I have no idea what just happened, but I ain't complaining. Things Bye. just got easier for us. Let's get out of here. All right. You know that girl we saw in Hamil? The one with the weird doll thing? What about her? You didn't think that was odd? You can't waste your energy on other people's business. All part of growing up, kid. But she was controlling that doll and shady people were chasing her. That doesn't bother you? Yeah, plenty of that going around. I mean, just look at ourselves. I think we have enough on our own plates. You really want more irregularities in life? Yeah, boy. <sighs> Not that it's necessarily a bad thing, mind you. No one's got a bigger helping of weird than Mila, and she doesn't seem to mind. Well, that's certainly true. You're starting to look pretty good with that blade. Hmm. I do seem to possess an aptitude for sword fighting. Bye. 
Onward. Just keep. can reach out to the Azure military. Why are you so interested in them? Because they say the Azure military hires based on ability, regardless of status. That's certainly not how it works in Rashigal. Is that right? Yeah. All of Rashigal's officials are descended from nobility. Traditions are lovely and all, but that doesn't leave a lot of juicy gigs for mercenaries like myself. But I wouldn't want to live in Azure. The clans are always fighting amongst themselves. There's no way I'd be able to concentrate on my studies. Hmm. Different humans have such different priorities. And here you sit, above it all. Uh, correct. I don't intervene in the affairs of human society. I'll handle this! Not bad. Here we go. Demon fist! Hit! Stop! 
Oh, we're done already? Isn't that good? I wasn't done playing around. You're such a bully. That wasn't too bad. Once we cross the Kijara Sea Falls, we'll reach Niakara, the village of the spirits. At least the soldiers didn't come after us. I hope we didn't make trouble for those villagers. They were so kind to us, too. What else could we do but run? Rashagal's troops showed up. The villagers picked the fight, not us. How can you talk like that? Maybe they were trying to protect us. If you're worried about them, then maybe you should go back. It was a pleasure knowing you, Jude. Thank you for all of your help. How can you be so cold? You'd rather I get emotional? I'm afraid I don't have that luxury. What is it you humans say? I've no time for waxing sentimental. Because of your mission? Precisely. So you think your emotions would prevent you from doing what you have to do? Can a person still fulfill their duty if they become emotional? Only one way to find out. You'd have to try and see. Well then, you should take your own advice. Huh? Just be yourself and do what you have to do. Uh... Maybe then you'll have your answer. Hey, I suppose. And don't go thinking you have to act like the great Lord Maxwell here. You're only human. Hey, are you on a mission too? Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Are you sure you really want to know? Huh? I don't want to make you feel like the odd one out now. Right. So, what are you gonna do, kid? Go back to the village? No. All right, then let's go. I then. I then. Can we really climb this? Better stop thinking and start climbing.
bad. Slow it, dude. Do and do it. Sally. Sally.
Whoa, that's something. They're like spears of stone jutting out of the sea. They say you get unusual terrain like this at points where two spirit climbs collide. Now that we're almost to Niakara, I'm getting curious. Is it a nice place? Hmm. Yes, I'm very fond of it. It has a certain kind of serenity. When I meditate there, it feels like my power is concentrated. Wow. Let's take five. All those rocks will murder on my feet. We can rest once we reach the village. Oh, come on, relax. Niakara isn't going anywhere. Huh. Right? Yeah. Rest a while. Oh. Yeah. Right. Sure. Hey, I won't argue with that. Thanks, Alvin. You're a pretty considerate guy, aren't you? Well, I do have to admit you had me worried, kid. Trying to act all tough like that. Oh, yeah. Is it really that obvious? Anyway, I really am fine. And I found that I'm pretty good at pushing all the complicated stuff out of my brain. Is that right? Who are My you? My goodness. You like her? Is she the one who caught your eye? No. All right, let her go. I could care less what you're here for. But she's my employer right now. Then stay back. Unless you want me to kill your golden goose. How I use the box. Alvin, look. Up there. That rock to the right. Can you hit it? Take a look. It could be the key to saving Mila. All right. You ready? Uh, yeah. Oh. You're just gonna watch her die then? With friends like that. Pan. Huh. And into the firefight. Come on, let's clean up this mess. It's charging! Burn! 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 Burn!
That's how we do it. I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> Practice chaining our attacks for the future. I won't let anyone down. So this is excuse. All right. Um. Oh my God. That was a bug fight. So you spotted that monster camouflage as a boulder? Good eyes, kid. Did you ever consider what would have happened if the creature charged at you instead of that woman? It wouldn't have mattered either way. Alvin still would have gotten into that woman's blind spot. You thought of all the angles that quickly? <laughs> what are you, a tactical genius? Genius is a good word. Not many people can think that fast. Hey, it was nothing. Thank you, Jude. You too, Alvin. Yeah, why? Hey, where'd that woman go? Hold your horses, Mr. Honor Student. We're not gonna get anywhere if we spend all day worrying about the bad guys. Come on, let's get moving. That's quite the spectacle. What do you say? Up for a quick dip? If you're intent on that, I won't try to stop you. But I can see monsters waiting under the water. Hey, Alvin, about your weapon. You've got an eye for good steel. This is one heck of a blade. Actually, I meant the other one. Oh, you mean this? Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. It looks like it channels fire spirits and projects their arts at foes. Yeah, something like that. That's incredible. Where'd you get it? Oh, I see how it is. You're the envious huh. type. Stare all you huh. want, kid. I ain't giving it up. You don't huh. have to treat me like a child. Oh, come on, I'm just yanking your chain. Well, that was something. I've never seen such a large monster before. Monsters who experience a mutation in their mana lobes can expand to massive sizes. You read that in a book? Yep. <laughs> Not much gets a rise out of you, does it? You're no fun at all. You didn't seem huh. particularly surprised yourself. Well, that wasn't anything I haven't seen before. You've traveled around the world and seen all sorts of things, huh? All true, but I've never seen anyone pick a fight with a monster that big before. Well, I'm glad that we were able to show you a new experience. Hmm. Lucky me. Lucky you, Alvin. Alvin had the two marks. Thank you. 
And I have awakened yet another level of hidden talent. Yeah, boy. So, any idea who that woman was? No clue. Although she did seem to know me. I imagine you mercenaries make a lot of enemies in your line of work. Although, I have to admit, she was really pretty. I never pegged you for the bad girl type, kid. Or maybe you just like older women. I don't know. Maybe. What? See you guys on the next episode. I gonna talk. See you guys on the next episode of Tales of Sydney.